Howdy everybody and welcome back to the Cast Gaming Channel. James here once again and uh, I've got another Napoleonic Total War 3 mod replay for you guys today. Today's replay was sent in by Steely Dan through the Discord. Thank you very much, sir. He's got his own YouTube channel. Go ahead and check him out. And just so everybody is aware, the Cast Gaming Channel kickoff tournament is still underway. Round 2 has begun. I might extend another week or two for players to get in their matches so keep an eye out for that i also will have posted or will post an update on the tournament status along with any additional replay so take a look keep an eye out for that to come as well but if you're interested in sending me any replays or you'd like to be featured on the channel go ahead and send something to the cast gaming channel gmail.com or head to the description box below, click the link to the Discord, send something in the replay section, or just say hello. So with that, let's go ahead and get into today's replay. It's going to be 4 versus 4, once again on Flanders 9. And for the coalition faction today, we've got Sweden as army number one. We've got the United Kingdom Peninsula army as army number two, followed by the United Kingdom Egyptian expedition army and then we've also got another united kingdom 1815 faction for the imperials today we're going to have france espania as army number one we're going to have the polish legion as army number two followed by france italy and i guess two france italy factions anyway Let's go ahead and get into the tactical breakdown map. Uh, there's actually not too much for it. Uh, just a quick little side note. If I was playing as the United Kingdom, I'd actually take some rockets, stick them behind this, this uh, river area, and that way France will have to deal with those rockets, can only attack them by uh, artillery barrages, can't shoot them. If you hold this town, which it looks like the United Kingdom probably will be able to do, then nobody can really outflank it and then they'll just have to take the rockets as they come in or i should say the imperials will just have to take the rockets as they come in but as you can see the Imp imperials actually will end up holding the loc advantage at the beginning so the coalition is going to be forced to attack they're going to end up taking this town which i recommend i recommend just taking all of the towns as quickly as you can and then uh just doing your best to attack this two-pointer uh, this two-pointer is protected by a hill right here from the Imperial side, which will have some excellent um, artillery fire coming down from there. There's also this small hill, which gives them a little bit of advantage for the coalition on this left side. They get a little bit of an elevation, maybe a little bit of protection from artillery fire, but not a whole lot. They do get this one-pointer right here, which will be a decent staging off point, but... Unfortunately, uh, this house will most likely be, be uh, most likely be taken by the Imperials on their way. I'd be very surprised if the coalition was able to take that house ahead of the Imperials today. We've already seen uh, France, Italy coming into view here. Uh, so it's just going to be basically a battle to take and hold this two pointer in the middle right here. Uh, for both sides, so the tactical breakdown is really not that complicated. The coalition can try and swing around to the left here, or the uh, Imperials can try and swing around to the right. Try and outmaneuver any coalition army that's coming around, but I don't really see that happening in this match. And uh, also on the right side, the coalition can try and use this house point right here, this one pointer, as a staging off point. They can put some artillery right here have it be completely protected, not have to worry about using their infantry or leaving any reserves in order to protect the artillery if they're able to place it here. Then they can bring all of their infantry and stuff to bear. If France is smart, they'll try and pull back from this side against this artillery and uh, just try and hold their ground as best that they can, maybe even retreat to this one pointer. Uh, the United Kingdom at that point could try and push around if they really really wanted to there's a little bit of a land gap but that's going to require a lot of time a lot of maneuvering i don't really see that happening on this match it's basically just both teams are going to be using this road or the roads that connect to the 
uh, one pointer and the two pointer on the left center side of this map. So it looks like we've already got a cab engagement going off here. Oops. Sorry about that. As I was saying, we've already got a cab engagement happening here. And it's not looking good. It looks like some Hussars have routed some Dragoons, some Light Dragoons. They're completely surrounded. Looks like some more Light Cavalry is being, um, is actually helping hold some French cab, French cab in case. We've got the Blues, which is a pretty decent uh, United Kingdom heavy cavalry faction sandwiching in between some of these um, French Espana cav here and might actually break them. However, France is getting some reinforcements, but it doesn't look like it's going to be in time. Boy, oh boy, I am very surprised that, that France is losing this cav battle. They're sacrificing some more Dragoons in here against some heavy cav. There's still some additional cav here from the coalition. This was a bad move to send this Dragoon unit. I would not have done it. Just ended up losing that, that unit to additional coalition cav. There was just too much coalition cav along with this general here to back up and bolster the cavalry in that section. Now, France, Espana is kind of in a bad position here. They don't have any cavalry. They're out by themselves at the moment, it looks like. And they're in a little bit of a trouble here. Looks like France, Italy is coming up on this side. United Kingdom is getting in the line. However, I recommend uh, that they push further on this right side. This is a bad position. They need to take this house. Need to get some additional infantry units on it to, to, um, on this right side in order to keep the house. Don't just form a line right here. You need to start going at France, Italy. United Kingdom is, this 10 pointer is going to be a better shooting faction than France, Italy at the moment. UK Cav is getting into some skirmishers on this far right side for the coalition. And this is the fear the coalition was going to be able to use their superior cab, get them behind the lines. And hopefully they see this artillery and go after it. Looks like they're going after some skirmishers who are trying their darndest to protect this artillery unit. Unfortunately, this artillery unit is going to go. It might have been a little bit of a pull through there, which is not legal. But unfortunately, either way, the cav unit would probably be able to get that that uh, artillery piece anyway. Got some Polish cav here out and about. Looks like they might be doing some scouting against the United Kingdom. See where, where the armies are at. Hopefully France has some infantry in that house. That two-pointer, it's going to be vital for LOC against that. And this is what I had talked about earlier. Uh, United Kingdom got in a line on this left side of the house. Sweden is here for additional reinforcements. He should have been placed more towards the right of this house in order to protect it. France has got its cav over here to threaten this right flank. The house is there to protect against cavalry units and infantry. Yes, that's true. Uh, they brought some additional infantry up here. But if France decides to push on this right side, there's just a single infantry unit here. Maybe with some cav that's... And that's it. That's all they got to stop them from entering the house. There's no grenadiers in the house that I can see. The lines here are need to be reshaped. And it looks like this French artillery unit is actually rotted. Maybe took a volley from this uh, United Kingdom artillery. We've got some more cav battles happening in the center. It looks like this Polish legion artillery piece was caught out of position un unprotected and was able to be routed P 
Polish Legion is coming up in the center. Looks like they're going after this one pointer. They're trying to push for this this pointer. They're being very aggressive against the United Kingdom. I don't know why United Kingdom hasn't doesn't have anything in the house. I'm shocked that there's no infantry in this house from the United Kingdom from the coalition. Sweden's finally coming up into the center. Hitting on the left side, looks like the United Kingdom is deciding to be aggressive towards France, Italy, at least one, one of the French armies here. It looks like they are taking some damage. This artillery piece is taking some damage from United Kingdom artillery. UK is coming up through the house. They're going to be protected from any artillery fire on that right side from France. United Kingdom, I don't know what you're doing right here. You're retreating, but this is a wrong move. There's just skirmishers here. Yes, there's a little bit of cab in the background, but there is this artillery piece, which you can easily just charge your men into. I do not know why you're retreating at this point. You need to capture the house. You could easily take care of the skirmishers on this side, along with this artillery piece. You've got some additional support from the United Kingdom on the side. I don't understand what you're doing. Maybe you're worried about this Polish Legion cab in the back. Maybe that's why they're hesitant to push up against. Against these skirmishers and artillery, but they're being forced to a, a back away from the house. They're going to get outflanked from the Polish Legion. Also, if they decided to go after the uh, Polish Legion skirmishers and artillery, they would have a little bit of protection with this forest here. Now they just have to retreat. Looks like we've got some retreating UK infantry here. Are they facing the right way? Okay, there they go. Doing better now. Their general was almost caught out of position. It looks like Sweden and the United Kingdom are trading a little bit here with their cavalry units. However, Sweden is only using one of its cav units. The other three are pretty much static at this point got some dragoon units from France Italy running away Sweden was able to at least get one unit from the Polish Legion looks like UK was able to salvage some cab here Probably using this cab to protect their artillery. This artillery could actually be moved up a little bit. Let's see, it's a six pounder. Yes, that needs to be moved up a little bit. This is a nine pounder. It can stay where it's at. Got a cab charge coming in against some artillery here. Should be enough to rot it. This is a mistake. This is called pulling your units through. Do not do this. This unit had not routed first, but we can forgive him because it was probably going to rot pretty quickly anyway. Again, he's pulling these units through the skirmisher unit against this artillery battery. Do not do this, guys. It's against the rules of NTW3 to pull your units through before a unit they originally are attacking have routed. Do not do that. Hitting a unit of artillery can make the difference between winning and losing a match. Artillery should not be the sole thing that you rely upon. However, it can protect you and help you win battles, no doubt. So, don't speak. I know what you're saying. Some shifting coalition cab along the lines here, retreating from the Polish Legion with some additional infantry. This is a good job on the United Kingdom players' part here on Egypt. Uh, the UK getting some excellent flanking fire on the Polish Legion infantry. They're going to be outflanked here by some skirmishers here in a minute, but in the meantime, the UK can get some devastating blows against the Polish Legion. They should follow this up with some cab pushing against the Polish Legion. They 
Might even force him to form square, able to get some more destruction against their enemies, guys. Be careful you don't push up too far and too quickly on this right side. There's a big gap in between your lines. You've got some artillery there, that's true. But this gap can be exploited by France Italy. France Italy is doing a good job keeping their army intact, holding themselves back, giving the ground. Here's some cav charges coming in the back against some Polish legion, retreating some cav here in the background. If the UK catches them, he might be able to route both of these these units. This heavy cav is probably not going to be able to catch up to the C8. UK sacrificing a frontal charge here against some Polish Legion units to get after them. Some additional CA cav units were attacked by this Swedish heavy cav. This Polish Legion cav probably will rout. This unit might be able to get away, albeit with some losses. I'm actually surprised this Polish Legion cav is not routed as of yet. Looks like France, Italy is coming up into the center, taking some position. Sweden actually needs to push up. Try and pin France, Italy into place, but it might not catch them since France, Italy is, is moving so quick. This cav should be used to hold the French advance right here. A lot of these, or at least some of these units cannot form square. You've got some... Let's see some heavy cab that might take some damage from your units if you can get them in the line. United Kingdom is having to fold, but the United Kingdom, it's gonna have to fold all of its army back if it does not want to be separated from Sweden. And at this point, the United Kingdom is pushing way too far on the right side against France, Italy. What they need to be doing is retreating, coming to the aid or to the right flank of Sweden, and then they need to push against France, Italy together. Meanwhile, this holding off, using a rear guard to hold off, hold off France, Italy on this right side. Got some more French cab getting some attacks or at least trying to threaten the side of the United Kingdom on this front, United Kingdom. is retreating on the side. It's not protecting its artillery. This artillery is wide open to any type of cav charges that the French player might see. United Kingdom, again, is just pushing up way too hard, way too quickly on this side. France, Italy really is just a distraction on this side. Sweden needs to be pushing its artillery on this side in order to support the defense, in order to support the maneuver. This artillery also needs to be pushed over in order to catch, to catch France, Italy off guard. Got some more cav battles happening. Some heavy cav against some light cav. This is not a good maneuver by Sweden. Don't put your light cav against these heavies. He might be thinking that the heavy cab was not moving, so he might have been able to catch him off guard, but that's not the case. In fact, all he's doing is really just losing his cavalry here. This heavy cab actually needed to be put into the back of France, Italy on the side if it was gonna charge its cab into a waiting heavy cab. And this is just kind of turned into a bit of a mess here in the center. France, Italy has gotten past Sweden exploited this gap, routed some United Kingdom units. United Kingdom is on the run. They're being pressured by some Polish infantry units and probably some additional France, Italy units if they're still here on the side. Or France, España. Wherever they might be, uh, looks like UK is still pushing up on this side. This cavalry should not, you should be um, funneling some cavalry to the other side of the map in support of your, your teammates here. As I was saying, looks like France, Italy has exploited the center unit. Meanwhile, they got some more infantry units exploiting this gap here. There's only one unit to protect. 
that artillery battery in the background. France, Italy is doing its best to outmaneuver the United Kingdom at this point. Skirmishers charging into this artillery battery. Probably not going to be able to route the uh, the player was able to take these guys into melee. Get them off the guns. They cannot maneuver any longer. But that's okay. France Espagne actually needs to be pushing up more. It needs to be really going after the United Kingdom since its army, its, uh, its allies France Italy is actually going to be sandwiched here pretty quickly. Needs to get the pressure off one of the flanks from Italy since Sweden can actually just, if Sweden was more aggressive, it need, I don't know what Sweden's doing. They need to be super aggressive here against this out of position, France, Italy. France, Italy is, has pushed itself way too hard against the United Kingdom. Could be facing a war on two fronts here, but the United Kingdom uses a rear guard to protect against this advancing army. They have an opportunity to route one player from the Imperial faction and they're just not seizing this opportunity. They were, they're way too worried about this advance in the center here, but just, just use a rear guard to hold these guys off. Use this against France, Italy's positioning here. They're just dis, um, disoriented. Yes, they've got some Polish Legion infantry here to for some support, but the combined might of the United Kingdom and Sweden could easily overrun this position. Meanwhile, France on this side, France Espana would have to come over. And Espana is not the does not have the maneuverability capability that France Italy does. It looks like we've got a charge here against some guns. Some cav trying to protect these guns. Another debatable pull through, but they were able to route this infantry unit. Well done. Need to retreat your infantry here in the center. I know they want to protect this artillery battery, but it's pretty much done at this point. You're outmaneuvered. Well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe France is going to lose the battle. The United Kingdom is a better shooting faction, typically. And now France, Espania is, is in trouble. However, Polish legions here are in the woods, getting some flanking fire on the United Kingdom. Taking artillery fire. Now France, Espana is the one who needs retreating on this side. However, the United Kingdom is still threatened by France, Italy. And France, Italy is pushing up against Sweden very, very quickly. Sweden is falling back. As I was saying, they just got outmaneuvered in this side. Instead of pushing against France, Italy and joining their ally, they're falling back. This is a mistake here, guys. I can see why you're tempted to do it. You feel like you're being sandwiched in between two armies and being outflanked. So retreating to the house seems like the safer option. However, this is one of the times where you guys needed to be aggressive and attack to finish off Italy extremely quickly while using a rear guard. It's just one more example. Uh, United Kingdom on this side has just chased Italy this entire match. And Italy... This, this has been a mistake. The United Kingdom has not played much of a factor on this side. They've chased Italy across the map. They're gonna have to um, endure a fight at this house or more maneuvering. They're just not able to catch up. They're not helping out their allies. They're not playing a factor. Their artillery has been take, has um, been maneuvered with their army instead of coming over to help their allies. In fact, the United Kingdom seeing that the France pushing up against Sweden this side had just should have come over and sandwiched this army while Italy on the other side had to give chase. And this is a result. This is the result. 
that I foresaw happening earlier in the match when the United Kingdom was going to chase after France on the right side of the map. And now France is slowly creeping up together with some Polish Legion units against Sweden. Sweden has get some has gotten some flanking fire against them, some emplating fire. They're probably gonna be outmaneuvered again by France on the side. They might hold this house, uh, but they're endangered on being surrounded pretty darn quickly. Meanwhile, the pressure has been taken off the UK as France suddenly looks like it's committed most of its forces against Sweden. And uh, France actually was able to destroy Espana on the side, or I'm sorry, uh, the United Kingdom was able to defeat Espana on the side, which I'm incredibly surprised. Espana might have overcommitted itself. And maybe with a loss of a lot of its cavalry in this section, it was just enough. Let's see, hopefully France put some infantry in this house. But it looks like they didn't, which I'm incredibly surprised against. I don't know why you would not put infantry in that house, especially with the rear guard. I mean, it's an ideal defensive position. Put some units into the forest, maybe. Allocate some units alongside the, the flank of the house. Use the house as a... Uh, protection against any flank. Yes, and King will have to put some infantry in the house to take it, but meanwhile, it'll be taking losses. I'm incredibly surprised that was not the case. Looks like France is going for a little bit of a cab and infantry push here. This could spell some doom. Plunging infantry and heavy cap into the lines of Sweden. And this was the flanking maneuver that I was talking about. Being surrounded. On both sides taking it from everywhere. France, Italy is pretty good with melee. Maybe not as good as Russia, but still pretty darn good. Sweden, all they can do is just continue to fall back, which is why they should have fallen further back to the house here. Now they're being sandwiched in between some Dragoon units and the rest of France, Italy. There goes Sweden, the rest of Sweden. And France, Italy has defeated an army in detail. United Kingdom on this side is falling back. Trying to come to the aid of their ally. What's this unit here? Okay. I'm not familiar with this unit. This 182 man unit. Maybe this is a general unit? A shooting battle, line battles going off here between France and the United Kingdom. It looks like the United Kingdom might be wavering on this left flank. They're having a retreat. Well done. If you can't win the fight, retreat. And this is the thing France, Italy is just going to be able to kite the United Kingdom for as long as it takes. There is some threat of some cavalry, but all of these units can form square. France Italy does not want to be caught in between this house, so they need to start maneuvering. Sweden is out of this fight. France, Italy can start pushing up its infantry and start attacking the flank of this United Kingdom army. Meanwhile, this France, Italy can fall back as well. 
they can reform the lines. Hopefully they can do that in time before being caught out of position. Some excellent fire into this heavy cab unit. France Italy needs to be careful that this heavy cav unit isn't caught on their infantry. It looks like they're charging towards some French cav, French heavy cav. I'm surprised that France is not turning around to face them out. However, they do not have as many units but you're just going to lose your cavalry by running them away. But it could be that uh, the morale from this heavy cab unit, and it broke. It could be that this was just too tired, coming across way too much of a distance, and just was not managed effectively. Heavy cab unit here from France chasing the after it might be able to run it down. Keep it from returning to the battle. Just needs to be careful that it does not take fire from this square formation here. France, Italy should be uh, doing its best to get away from the United Kingdom on the side. If anything, they should be. Uh, if they can take this house without a little bit of a without issue, I would actually recommend that they do it. Maybe put some grenadiers in here and do that, and then use this as a focal point to help defend against the assault here from the United Kingdom. If you can use an infantry unit and charge it into this square formation here, grenadier unit, this is just right for being charged by a couple units. Looks like some dragoons are going to chase down this heavy cap unit. Instead of the original heavy cab, just be careful. There's some artillery right here and some more artillery right here, which could be the United Kingdom saving grace. And Poland looks to be taking this house. Against some skirmishers and a line unit. Looks like some infantry from France, Italy was caught running away, able to get routed by the United Kingdom. Hurry guys, get out of there. Get out of there. Got some more reinforcements from the United Kingdom. Got some Espana units, maybe still in the fight, retreating. Again, some more maneuvering, and if uh, the Polish Legion does not take this house, I'll be very surprised. I'm extremely surprised they finally gave in some skirmishers at the end of it, whose morale was very, very low. However, it looks like France is still here, so they'll be able to put a unit in there and get that house pretty darn quickly. There it goes. France, Italy is reorganizing. Reorganizing here needs to get their infantry units in the line. If there's not a whole lot of United Kingdom cav left, they could use the remaining. The Imperials could use the remaining cav in order to hit artillery. This artillery is pretty darn exposed at the moment. There's just one infantry unit that can form square here. There's another one in the background that's a little bit more protected because it's farther away. There's some more infantry units surrounding it. Get some cabin in the back. You can charge these generals right here. There's only this uh, extremely damaged half strength light dragoon unit for protection. Looks like we've still got some heavy cav left along with some more heavy cav and some dragoon units. So some pretty decent units from France still in this fight in terms of cavalry unit could easily be used to threaten the flanks of the United Kingdom or go, or I would suggest going after the artillery as quickly as you can. 
or take out the general units in the back, which are not that well protected. Good job on taking this house. I don't know where this uh, this France unit is being charged to here, but it needs some additional support. Should not be facing a couple units from United Kingdom by itself. Yes, there's some cab there, but uh, he'll be able to get outshot very, very easily. Use that cab to get in the back lines of the United Kingdom. They're exposed right here in the center section. You could easily hit the general, then take out this artillery piece, and then after that, take out this additional artillery piece. Just need to be, uh, just need to have a smart use of that cab. You could take two cab units. I would suggest take your goon unit. Or even using your other cab units as a distraction to hit the UK along somewhere else on the line. However, it does not look like the United Kingdom is using their artillery to great effect at the moment. And France, Italy is missing, missing an excellent opportunity to hit, get some flanking fire into the United Kingdom on the side. They're taking way too long. They're starting their lines way too uh, far away from the fight. This is a grenadier unit, so you want to be careful from getting it, getting into melee combat against it with some reinforcements here. But you could have gotten some excellent shots off. They're going to be forced. Oh, and he doesn't have a unit in the house. He doesn't have a unit in the house. This is another mistake. You need to keep a unit in the house, guys. If they get it, if the coalition gets it, gets the house, you're going to be in a world of hurt. Start using this. Start pushing this cab over towards the United Kingdom. I would actually even just... You could have even have just taken on this light dragoon unit by yourself, forced this um, the general unit to run away, maybe have attacked this other general unit, or just gone after this artillery that's all grouped together. I mean, there's just so many opportunities here at the back lines of the coalition that are unprotected now that they really don't have any cab left. That uh, like it just hurts. It hurts to watch. Also, the uh, French armies on this side are way too far away from this house way too far away from this house position uh, this house will help protect you against artillery fire if they're bought over in the center section here also it's a good linchpin if the united kingdom decides to push up you can retreat fall back force them to take shots while they try and melee or get units into this house that is the best positioning and this is hurting me guys this is super hurting me i don't know why he's walking these units back he needs to be just going around the back side here, getting into this, all, all this open area, all this open area, man. It is hurting me, guys. It is hurting. It is hurting me to see this mistake. The United Kingdom could pull this unit out of the house. Um, if it's confident against taking some infantry units here, if it's going to go for a push here, taking the infantry units out of this house might be a good idea to help support that push, although they might be worried about losing that LOC. So I can understand why they would not. France, Italy, you need to just fire, start firing away at uh, the United Kingdom. Kite them if you need to, but keep pushing up and then retreating, pushing up, retreating, etc. Get them out. And this unit is still static. It's still by itself. I, I just, uh, my uh, frustration is probably at about a seven right now on a scale of 1 to 10. UK continuing to push up. This is a mistake, France, Italy. Uh, your infantry, you might be going for LOC at this point, but your infantry is more needed in the defense of this house than it is at uh, taking this LOC point here. 
We've got some actual uh, France España units that are still in the fight here. Could be used to actually get in behind the lines of the United Kingdom if they're sneaky about it. The United Kingdom's retreating, or I'm sorry, France is retreating without a fight against this house, and it's just. Your units are pretty darn thin at this moment. This house is your best defensive bet. Otherwise, you're just going to be retreating. And you're just going to be retreating for the rest of the match. You're not going to hold any points. This is the big mistake. And France, Italy is going to make a... Is going to be a sure thing to lose if it does not make a move here. It does not pitch a battle somewhere. With no infantry units in this house, I honestly don't know what France Italy is thinking. I think they're just scared at this point. Worried about losing their army, but they don't hold LOC. That goes to the coalition right now. There's no point in retreating with what's left of your army. If all you're going to be doing is running away from the battle. Like some Italy is committing against the attack on this house. Some Englishmen firing in your face. Bayonets everywhere. Stock slaps. Bayonet once again. Looks like the coalition has lost this house. Well done, guys, but unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. You hold one, maybe two points. Okay, it looks like France Italy does have some units in this house. Retreating away from this house is not the way to go. You see that the United Kingdom is actually coming over. France Italy could actually take, capitalize on this by sh shooting and then maneuvering their armies since they're quicker to get, continue to get some shots in on them or just bayonet at them in the back. There's also cavalry somewhere along this line which could be run into the back as, or into the front of these United Kingdom units while they're in melee combat. I, I don't understand why the heck France is running away. It just does not make sense to me. You've got these two cav units right here. I don't know where the third heavy cav unit is. There was a third heavy cav unit somewhere. Not sure where that is. But these guys are just not being used to the full effect. They're just kind of sitting on the wings. Maybe hoping for an opportunity somewhere. There's plenty of units that can form square here. This probably is not the best use of their cavalry at the moment. Now it's getting sandwiched in between a square formation and this light dragoon unit. And I don't know what they were thinking here. That was just a terrible charge. I don't know why they charge alone against these massed amount of units that can form square against a skirmish unit with some additional cap support. It does not make sense. I, I, uh, I'm just speechless on that one. Now France, Italy is pursuing the United Kingdom away from the house. Back. This this is they might win this. Uh, maybe they can get a melee battle going. Get some cav in the background. That might be a uh, possibility. Get your general unit up into the fight alongside its men. Get this additional. Get these additional units to get around the flanks of the United Kingdom, and then put your heavy cap into the fight. A nice volley into the lines of the United Kingdom. This charge coming from France into the United Kingdom. Looks like it's going to be enough to route this damaged unit. The 
looks like some cav is coming up to support. Be careful, guys. You're pushing your cav up just a little bit too far. They're in danger of being shot. They need to be more on this left side in support. This was just a bad charge. This is just a mishandling of the cav charging into the square formation. Again on this side, trying to get a sneaky charge in here, but charging the square formation. Run your cav away as soon as you can. Get your cab out of there, guys. Get your cab out of there. You're in danger of losing it. This is just hurting me. The mistakes are hurting me. Get your cab out of here. It's, it's taking fire from both sides. Get just, oh. Oh my goodness, guys. It's painful. What can I say? United Kingdom unit is trying to hold the line against this French advance here. Does not look like he's going to be able to do it. Don't use your cavalry against this square formation here. It's just not necessary. You're going to be taking undue fire from the square formation. Again, this cavalry needs to be moving faster. It's just going to take fire from the square formation on the flank. If anything, there's this gap right here. Charge these units into this, into this unit right here, or into the square formation so it can't shoot at you. There's some skirmishers here to support. Get around the flank or get through this opening right here. France, Italy could also be pushing these, these infantry units into melee combat against against the United Kingdom as they run away, especially with their superior speed. This would have been a better use of the cavalry, in my opinion. However, they actually managed to survive long enough to rout the general from the Imperials, or I'm sorry, from the coalition, which surprised the heck out of me considering how much danger this cavalry units have been in this entire fight. United Kingdom on this side, trying to push units into the house, not able to route the units in the house. These armies would have been better suited probably for helping take out the center French Italy faction, defeat the armies in detail. And I just, I am so incredibly speechless from what from what I've been seeing. All this, this cab mistake, France, Italy, catching the United Kingdom, just disorganized and in melee combat. This artillery, it looks like it was misused, not really in the fight as well as it could have been. Meanwhile, we have a whole other United Kingdom army trying to take a couple units in a house. And this is what I see from new players all the time, is they waste all their infantry time and resources into taking houses, which are so difficult to take in this game. Now, the United Kingdom might actually be able to take this house, but even if they manage to do it, they'll have wasted all this time. They've only got five, six units left, along with their general. Meanwhile, France, Italy has routed the entire other armies on the map. They still have a little bit of cav left. However damaged or not, I, they just are not going to be have enough to be able to take out France, Italy on this side. Looks like we've still got this one pointer occupied by the coalition. Coalition is retreating to this two pointer. Now France, Italy needs to take at least two points to tie this. I believe, I believe. So France, Italy holds two points the coalition holds two points at this 
at this time. The coalition holds three points. I'm sorry. So all France Italy needs to do is either take this two pointer right here, or they can take this house if France Italy on the other side can hold, and then they will have LOC for the match. It's getting down to the wire here. There's left in less than 10 minutes to go. France, Italy looks like it's going to end up losing this house against the United Kingdom. If they did not lose it, I would be very surprised, which is France, Italy is forced to take this LOC right here. They're going to be forced to try and take this two-pointer in the, in the center of the map that they should have originally been holding. but did not. Looks like France, Italy is sneaking up an infantry unit here. Maybe they can get some... See if they can get a little bit of fire on this general unit. Unaware general unit. See if you should have snuck up your guys a little bit sooner. No artillery fire was able to be had. Or I'm sorry, no, no musket fire was done. Or damage was done to that general unit. France, Italy probably has enough to take this line. I think this is a general unit. So this should be enough to take this 132 man unit. This is a 162 man unit. The general is still alive, able to boost that morale in the combat. Let's see if he's got anything else special like guard consoles or anything. Nope. And some French infantry units here to protect the house against this United Kingdom army or what's left the United Kingdom come over to try and take that LOC and if they can hold with just about seven and a half minutes to go then the Imperials are going to have this one today got some infantry charging into the house here Let's see. For some reason I cannot tell who the heck has invaded this house. If I had to guess it was the general unit, because I don't see him anymore. Get uh get Lons over here. Boost the morale of this unit. See where the house is going, hopefully. Hopefully someone keeps that house. United Kingdom's continuing to come over. Just needs to be aggressive. And they have to take the LOC as quickly as possible. Now it looks like from the map here that the coalition actually holds three Five, I'm sorry, five points altogether. They hold three one-pointers and a two-pointer at the moment. However, this two-pointer is in danger of routing. And once they take it, this actually might be a tie game if the Imperials take it. I cannot tell if anybody's... How many men left are in... From the house, maybe just a bug. And there it goes. France is taking the house. So this is a tie game, LOC wise. Uh, France is actually retreating its infantry, or maybe they're trying to go after this United Kingdom unit right here while Italy holds it in place. Might be enough to route it. We'll see. There it goes. France needs to get some additional infantry here in order to support their house. These grenadiers are going to be able to charge into this this house and might even actually be able to take it. We'll see. Meanwhile, there's still some artillery firing into France. 
which will be extremely helpful for taking the house. And this this grenadier unit had barely gotten to the house and it's gone. They're called the kitties and boy, you weren't joking. Their performance was very childlike. Got lands pushed up here. Go back to the uh, the map. Italy is still holding this house. The United Kingdom is not going to be able to take it. The United Kingdom cannot take it. So France is standing at three points to three versus the coalition. However, the coalition might actually be able to take this one pointer in the back with just about four minutes to go, which would actually give them four points to the coalition's three. So the coalition actually needs to take another house somewhere, which is very, very doable. I don't know who this is, John Stewart. Maybe this is another general unit? 128 men general unit, I'm not sure. So this 78 man unit might have been a better option for them to attack. This artillery needs to be brought to bear against Italy in this section here. It needs to start damaging the house the best that they can. Maybe then it would have been a better option to attack that house with about three minutes left in the match. And this is a pretty darn close match. I thought one side or the other was actually going to overwhelm the other at some, at uh, very various points of the match. I thought the Imperials were going to win at the beginning, but then the coalition seemed to be um, seemed to be ahead. And then they kind of fell apart towards the end. It's been just kind of a little bit of a seesaw action most of the game here. We've got some infantry coming in here. I'll keep this mini map up just in case anything changes hands here. So it looks like the coalition actually was able to get this house over here. They got the infantry unit into the house, which means that we are at four points to three at the moment still. And there's about two minutes left for the Imperials to take this house. And once they take it, that's going to be game. United Kingdom actually needs to make a desperate charge over here to try and take out that uh that house over there they're just kind of sitting back and there's the game there's the game there is the LOC it's gonna be four points to three here just with about 90 seconds to go in the match oh boy there was a lot of mistakes that I saw on this side especially with this cavalry in the um, latter part of the match which you guys probably heard me griping about over and over again but that's okay it's uh i always say you know it's difficult to uh, keep your eye on everything when you're actually playing the match or difficult to actually reason what you're doing uh, sweden should have never fallen back to this house if anything they should come to the aid of their allies on this left side of the kingdom and they ended up getting defeated in detail because of that because they were too scared to attack or they missed the opportunity completely. Um, even after winning the Cav battle on this left flank, which uh, hugely in favor of the coalition at the beginning, tipped the balance, of their, uh, took the scales into their balance at the end or at the beginning of the match. But then the United Kingdom on this far right side decided to chase France, Italy for half the game, uh, which didn't help its allies on the center and on the left. Sweden was busy getting killed with no support because it got isolated and then at the end here we have the uh, maneuvering cab as I said but yeah the, uh, the painful cab maneuvering at the end but uh, anyway guys it's a good game this was a bit of a back and forth which I 
greatly appreciated. And, uh, like, it was just a good time. I will go ahead and, uh, read the stats here once this thing goes. Alright, so it was an Imperial victory today by LOC, four points to three. And for the teams today, we have Squiffy Fart. Why you make me say that name? I don't know. But he was playing as, I think this was a nine pointer, pointer UK. I don't know. Uh, you'll have to. You can correct me in the match. But anyway, he had 946 kills. Our gems was playing as. I think is the 10.3 UK faction with 1,133 kills. Uh, Nami Man, 420, 544 was playing as Sweden. And then Steely Dan was playing as the other, the third United Kingdom faction with 853 kills. Uh, Jonas Schlocker, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, was playing as France Espana with 339 kills. M. Katusov was playing as. France, Italy, Army, number one with 1,024 kills. Peter Bergration, Peter Bergration, I think he's high. Say, playing as uh, the Polish Legion with 780 kills. And yes, I know this was the name of the, uh, the Russian general. So uh, please forgive my mispronunciation. Eric was playing as the other France, Italy faction with 2,158 kills. And here is the kill list for you. Here's the kitties. Here's the kitties who actually, I guess, were not in childhood since I thought they uh, were because they they had 200 kills, which is not bad. Not bad at all for you. Uh, John Stewart was a general unit, which I suspected with 127 kills the next highest list. Let's go down the, uh, the list here for you. This was Steely Dance Army, which is one of the UK factions. So you can... Uh, holler at him I guess anyway guys hope you like this replay I will catch you guys on the next one